everyone, it's Andrew again, and uh, it's time for another Kickstarter update. So in the last one I showed you some of the cool things we're doing with our own renderer for Camelot Unchained. Today I wanted to show you some of the really cool, fun things we've been doing with networking. And this is not, you know, Camelot Unchained in any way, but it is kind of our technical prototype proof of concept of some networking stuff. What we did was we started with our iPad game, March on Oz, and we went in and said, hey, it's got these little cool characters. Hey, look, it's me. I've got my hat. And, you know, you can edit them and play dress up and all of that stuff. <laughs> and what we did was we made a really simple network game out of it and connected them all together. So what you can do in what we're calling kind of... Uh, City, state, walk and turn and hit is um, walk around, turn and hit people. So th the entire studio right now is uh, celebrating their afternoon by beating each other up. And the important thing here is that we've got, you know, we, we've got networking, we've got multiplayer, we've got all of this. This is running in Unity, so it's obviously not using the rendering tech that we're planning to scale up to know a whole lot of characters but it does have a lot of fun and a lot of cool things happening as you run around and beat each other up in this game world so one of the things that uh, one of the things that I mentioned in one of my previous blog posts was the element that of chaos that physics adds to a game and why we wanted that to happen now this is completely over the top and it's not what we're planning to do for uh, Camelot Unchained, but it's kind of broken in a very fun way. All the things bouncing around allow, creates a really dynamic world that people are genuinely having fun with, despite the fact that it's a really, really simple world in a networked environment, which is a proof of concept for the game. So that was fun. But what you didn't see in that was that as soon as we turned off the camera, one of the artists ran up and said, so can we add in like, you know, saving your progress and making it persistent and, you know, what about weapons and yes, yes we can do that. But that's really what this Kickstarter is about because, well, we can do that. It's a question of do people want us to? And I really hope you do.